Welcome to Jocelyn Presents. Ah, Jocelyn. Ah, that's me. Hello, scientists. It's me, Jocelyn. Welcome to the lab. Today we are making ooh black, but it's not as spooky as it sounds. Come on, I'll show you. So it might not be spooky, but oobleck is special because it can act as either a liquid, be runny, or it can be hard like a solid. And when something acts like a liquid and a solid, we call it a non-Newtonian fluid. So to make oobleck today, we're going to need water, cornstarch, something to mix it with, and a bowl. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. Oh, hey, do you want to say hi to our friends? <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. See you later. So to get started on your oobleck, add one cup of water. And you can make your oobleck any color you want. I think today I'm feeling like green oobleck is the way to go. So we'll add a few drops of green. And then you want to add one and a half cups of cornstarch. And now let the mix. So you want to start off mixing it nice and slow and steady. And once it gets too thick to mix with your spoon, time to go in with your hands. And now we can test this oobleck, this non-Newtonian fluid and how it acts like a liquid and a solid. So if you grab some oobleck and just let it rest on your hand, ah! <laughs> it starts to ooze down like a liquid. But if you apply pressure, you can make it act like a solid. You can even start to create an oobleck ball here. But as soon as you release that pressure, it goes back, whoa, to a liquid. <laughs> now, once you're ready to clean up your oobleck, you can put it in a bag and save it for later, or you can throw it in the trash. Just don't put this down the sink because it can clog it. Thanks for coming to the lab, scientists, and making a little